Tomai Anor, welcome back. A report by the Human Rights Commission has found bullying and harassment in the workplace is prevalent. And it's mostly affecting young women, minorities and the rainbow community. The Equal Employment Opportunities Commissioner says the problem is widespread and workplaces are failing people. Kethaki Masalamani reports. When Zoe Port started her dream job, it soon turned into a nightmare. My boss used to belittle every single thing I did. Um, she'd find a way to critique everything I did in work with no real, you know, constructive criticism. I'm not just saying, hey, you need to improve this, this is terrible. Port says the bullying was relentless and affected her both mentally and physically. I developed a stutter from all the times my boss would cut me off and just interrupt me when I was trying to explain myself or trying to explain some work I'd done. A new report by the Human Rights Commission found her experience is widespread. 30% of workers experienced sexual harassment in the last five years, 39% had been racially harassed and 20% experienced bullying behaviour frequently in the last year alone. For Kiwi land, we, we think we're a safe and fair place, but actually the figures say otherwise. And so we need to act urgently. The research shows workers who reported the highest rates of bullying are younger workers, disabled, bisexual and ethnic minorities. This woman, who we've agreed to keep anonymous, says she's experienced racism at almost every job she's worked. It became a normal thing to happen. And you probably expected it, sometimes you'd laugh it off, but really it actually hurt you. The research shows almost a third of workers chose not to report the bullying and harassment. This woman said it often made her feel isolated. Yeah. You feel as though there's nowhere that you can go to, no one that you can talk to. Port now lectures at Massey University, teaching people about safe workplace environments. She says bullying is a health and safety risk. If an organisation ultimately isn't fulfilling those duties, there does need to be some eventual consequences, I think, um, to have some incentive to actually address them. To create a safe space for all workers. Keith Kimasalamani, News Hub.